holy cow, this one's huge. But. We're gonna harvest our garlic today. This is my first time harvesting garlic, but I've learned a few tips from some garlic experts, so I'm gonna make sure to implement those today. Uh, tip number one is using a fork instead of my hands, uh, because if you just use your hands and try to pull it up, you can break the garlic, damage it, and then it's not gonna be working for storage, and you end up with less garlic for the year. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use this fork to loosen the soil around the garlic cloves. And then if I need to dig a little bit more, I have my little hori hori tool and we'll see how much we have. Uh, we planted four different varieties. This first area right here is a soft neck, which means it does not produce garlic scapes and it generally doesn't do as well in Northern climates, but we'll see how they do here. And then behind that, we have a few different varieties of hard neck garlic, which produced really delicious scapes for us. And we've been using them in lots of meals. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest and see how we do. We got our first clove here. It's a pretty good size. That one's a really nice size. These are really great size garlic heads. And this one right here is gonna be super little because the circumference of the neck is little and the neck is directly proportionate to the size of the garlic head. It's not too bad though. Look at that little guy. Ooh, this one's really nice. Another reason to use a fork instead of a shovel is you don't disturb the soil as much and you're not breaking up the structure as much. This one started to grow some garlic cloves around, around the neck, which is kind of funny. Laying down at the compartment Oh no I see you only when you're balling Oh no I don't even care to doubt I see you in the wild Cause this time I will choose Another thing about garlic is you really want to make sure you get as many roots as possible which is another reason why you want to use a fork because the nice thing about the fork is I can get down below the garlic without damaging the bulb or the roots and having as many roots as possible actually helps you cure the garlic better so that it lasts longer for storage, which when you live in the Northeast like we do, or anywhere where you can't grow a lot during the winter, storage is really important. It might be really tempting as you're getting exhausted from harvesting garlic to just try to pull it out by the base, but even if you think your soil is loose enough, many times you will still break it. And you can still use that for fresh eating, but if you wanna have most of your cloves and heads nice and uh, healthy for storage, just go ahead and use a fork or a shovel or whatever you have to make sure you dig, dig around it and lift it up out of the soil. This one's nice. So you wanna have all those nice roots. And you know it's ready for picking when the skin around the leaves, the bottom, start to die. That's when you wanna pick it, when there's a nice healthy coating around the base of the garlic. That will help increase storage and decrease moisture. You don't wanna wash garlic after harvesting it. You just shake off the excess dirt and then we're gonna go ahead and let it cure hanging, in our, hanging on our front porch for just a couple of weeks. If you wash it, you risk causing mold or mildew. We got quite a few uh, soft neck heads of garlic here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring them to the front porch after we finish all of them and show you how much we have. But let's move on to the hard neck varieties. We have about twice as many of those to dig up. Now, if you've planted your garlic and you're getting ready to harvest and you don't remember if you planted hard neck or soft neck, a really easy way to tell is if your garlic produced a scape. And this right here is the remnant of a garlic scape that is on a hard neck garlic. Oh 
Holy cow. This one's huge. But that is wild. The world's tiniest garlic. <laughs> the garlic harvest and they are all hanging to cure we did it on our front porch because the airflow is good and uh, there was an easy spot to hang them up and normally the rain comes this way instead of that way so I don't think we'll have an issue with that mm -hmm. uh, we ended up with 50 heads of hardneck garlic which is a mix of a few different varieties I don't have the names of them right now but I'll put them in the description below and we ended up with 37 38 I think it was 87 total 37 or 38 soft neck and again I don't remember which varieties those were I'll put them in the description below I bought all of our seed garlic this year from fruition seeds a local company to our region and I'm really happy with it overall there were some small heads not sure why there seemed like a couple of varieties were small and then one variety was really great and all the soft neck did really well. So overall, really happy. We have about 87 heads of garlic. We still have a few more to harvest that just didn't look ready yet. And I mean, that's gonna give us like close to two heads of garlic a week, which is plenty for us. We'll probably make some garlic powder. We might make some, what else? Garlic salt. Garlic salt mix, which is just garlic powder basically with salt. Yeah. I think I'm going to use some of this for seed garlic planting, but I also think I want to buy some more seed garlic this year from a local organic farm that I've heard has really good seed garlic and it's more reasonably priced. All these heads are organic. We didn't do till for the garlic um, and we just mulched with wood chips and they, they were, went really well. I didn't yeah. damage a single head when I was pulling them up. That's our garlic adventure. So, first time, and it went really well. <laughs>